Hello, it's Jason Payne for Core Banker Dan Harper Realtors. How are you guys doing today? Well, about six years ago, I started this little YouTube channel and I had the goal to provide as much information as possible out there so people watching me can uh, use that information to make one of the most difficult decisions they have in their life and hopefully see value in me and use me as their real estate agent. Now, I know a whole lot about the communities, the builders, things going on in the shirt symbol of New Braunfels, Baverde, Bernie area. I know a lot of that stuff, but know what I don't know a whole lot about? Okay, I know just enough to get me in trouble, and that's the lending process. So when people ask me what's going on, uh, mortgage rates and different products, I generally will say I'm not the expert in that, but I know someone who is. And uh, this is going to be the first of the series of pro tips from a lender. And I've got an amazing lender that I like to uh, bring in. And her name is Jen Bailey with Legacy Mutual. Let's go ahead and bring her in. Now, there she is. How are you doing today? Jason, how are you? Good, good. Can, I, can you bring up the sound just a little bit? Yeah, I'll get my microphone a little bit closer and... You let me know. Does that sound better? Yeah, that sounds a little bit better. All right, go ahead and uh, just tell um, the viewers a little bit about you and your background. Awesome. I'd love to. I've been in lending for or mortgage for a little over 10 years. I started out uh, investigating mortgage fraud with the FBI, which I did for about five years, which was super cool. So I've combed through thousands of loan files, and I know loans inside and out. So it allows me to solve unique problems for clients that most lenders can't solve because I just have a high level of experience and access to loan types that are really outside of the box, uh, given my experience in the company I work for and the products we have. So been in doing this for over 10 years, love it, and really happy I flipped script from getting people in trouble from committing mortgage fraud <laughs> to getting into a house the right way and with all the education needed to really empower them to make strong financial decisions. That's awesome. And one of the reasons I like Legacy uh, Mutual for doing mortgages is um, they're local. Um, they've been in the greater San Antonio area forever. We know the owner and they're amazing. And when you're going through the home buying process, there's going to be hiccups. There's never a smooth process. And you always want a lender that can solve the problems in-house. There's some other really big lenders that really say they cater to the military and uh i kind of call them assembly line lenders where they'll just pass that file from one desk to the next and if there is a hiccup and you call them they're like well sally's out for the day so we'll get to it later on and you just don't want that in a lender you want someone to be able to solve that problem in-house and that's one of the reasons i really like legacy because they're local they're in-house and it's one person and uh, the underwriters, and they're all right there and can solve that problem. So I really appreciate what you guys have done for uh, myself and my past clients. And uh, uh, it's okay to shop around for lenders. And oftentimes those local lenders can really do amazing things. Local local lenders definitely are a very different experience than going to your bank or your credit union itself. <laughs> but not necessarily the little mom and pop stuff. There's a sweet spot and you guys really nailed the sweet spot. Well, one of the big topics right now and has been for the last uh, couple of, well, shoot, probably 18 months has been interest rates. And uh, I often see it when I pull out my little mortgage calculator, when someone asks me how much is their monthly payment going to be, and I pop in that app and I plug in that, ooh, 6.8, 7.5 uh interest rate and people are often blown away as how much that mortgage is because people are still in the mindset that we have like a 4% rate and uh, it they're kind of shocked and I feel bad. It's like, oh my God, your mortgage would be this high and the house is even that expensive. Um, so I know a lot of lenders, builders, everybody's doing stuff with like incentivizing rate buy downs. And can you go and talk on that subject and why you should consider rate buy downs? Yeah, so in a high interest rate environment, even though rates are coming down, which hallelujah, it's a great. Slowly. <laughs> but we are nowhere near the 8% that we saw. It's amazing. But 
these are tools, right? So there are tools out there. If you have a really good lender, they have access to these tools and you want a lender that can walk you through it and understands how they work, right? So tools, for example, would be an interest rate buy-down, right? You could do a permanent rate buy-down and a permanent rate buy-down means you pay a point or two or three or however many points it costs to buy it down to the interest rate you want. And it permanently buys your rate down for the full 15 year or 30 year fixed term that you have. So that's a permanent rate buy-down. It, the, the same cost of that rate buy-down for a permanent buy-down doesn't go as far as if you do a different tool called a temporary rate buy-down. So for example, right now that it's been popular for about 18 months and then in previous uh, years when interest rates were in a higher environment, but a temporary rate buy-down means you can either do a 3-2-1 or a 2-1, but I'll talk about a 2-1 because that's the most common. It means that your interest rate is bought down for the first couple of years. So for the first two years, and it's paid for by the seller. So the buyer can't pay for it because it doesn't make any sense for the buyer to buy down their rate temporarily when really they're just making the difference in the payment. So they're spending the same amount of money. So instead, it has to be a seller covered or a third party covered item. So if you have a great agent like Jason, and he can mm -hmm. go- Oh, stop. Mm -hmm. No, no, keep, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Jason will be a rock star negotiator for you and negotiate seller concessions, also called seller credit. And coupled with when he's working with a really good lender, the lender can actually tell him, hey, Jason, for Sally, she's going to need at least 12 grand in seller concessions to be able to cover a 2-1 rate buy-down to buy her rate down. And let me explain how that 2-1 buy-down works. For the first, like, let's say, for example, interest rates are at 7% right now. Let's just pretend. If they're at 7%, and you were gonna lock in a 30 year fixed 7% rate. If you do a 2 1 buy down, then for year one, your interest rate is 5%. For year two, your interest rate is 6%. For years three through 30, your interest rate is 7%. So who pays for that, right? The seller. With the seller concessions basically go towards covering the difference of the mortgage payment from 7% to the 5% for that first year, and then from the 7% to 6% for the second year. And by year three, whenever it returns to your original locked in fixed rate of 7% for years three through 30, you can probably refinance. And then most likely with what we're expecting rates to do, it's probably gonna be a killer time to refinance. So take advantage years one, two, and then three, five before year three. And if you have any money left over from that seller credit, that hasn't been applied to the mortgage payment because maybe you refinance after year one, that money all comes back to you when you refi. You get the credit. So the money's never lost. So you're saying it's better to buy that rate buy down versus the price buy down using those seller concessions for interest rates versus 10 grand off the house using it for lowering that interest rate. All day long because a $10,000 seller credit will save you on average 50 bucks a month on your mortgage payment. Versus if you take that 10 grand and buy the interest rate down, you'll probably be saving 150 to 200 bucks a month. So it makes a huge difference and it puts the power into the buyer's hands. If it's, instead of a sale price reduction, if it's a seller credit, they can use it for closing costs, a permanent rate buy down, a temporary rate buy down for a combination of all three. You can actually use it for all three. So if you have a really good letter that can walk you through it, I work backwards from my client's goals and say, hey, you told me you wanted this payment and this out of pocket. Here's how we can do it with the seller concession. And I guide them through how to hit their goals. Awesome. Um, uh, like I said, it, it's it's gotten the total cost of putting a roof over your head. It's gotten crazy. And like I said, the monthly payments, well, shoot, with the cost of everything. And by the way, as we're filming this, it is 2 February 2024. So just want to timestamp it. So two years from now, if, if interest rates have dropped down to four and a half, five percent, which is historically normal, five percent is normal. And I do think if we get back down in the fives, things are going to change a lot. But right now, uh, as I looked at a little app today, we're at like 6.8 for conventional loans. So that still blows my mind. But if we get back down to normal, we're not going to see two and a half again. <laughs> but um, what product? I know we got some graphs. I'm trying to figure out how to do that little lead into kind of showing a visual demonstration of what you're talking about. So I can do a screen share and I'll show you what the 2-1 buy-down looks like. 
because sometimes a visual just really helps to understand. So mm -hmm. spreadsheet here, and this allows me to plug in different price points. So whatever home you're buying, let's say this one is, let's change it to a $550,000 house. If oh, can you pull your mic up a little bit closer, if you don't mind? Let me get my, I'm going to get over closer to it. Okay. You got me? Yeah. Great. So if you buy a $550,000 house and your down payment is 5%, which is right here, then this is the amount you're financing, $522,500. Well, let's say this is where the rates are at over here, right? If your 30-year fixed rate is 6.5%, that's what you lock in for 30 years. If you do this 2-1 buy down, then you can have for year one, a 4.5% rate, year two, a 5.5% rate, years three and beyond six and a half, right? Well, how does this actually work? Well, it shows you what your payment would be right here for at all these different interest rates. So what's the difference between a six and a half rate and a four and a half rate? Well, it's 655 bucks a month. That's how much you save by having a 2% lower rate for that first year. Well, what is that annualized? 7,861 per year. Who's paying for that? The seller. Same with year two. Who's paying for that? The 4,030 bucks that it is annually? The seller. When you add up all of this, the seven grand, the four grand, you get to 11,891. That is the seller concession. And we do this ahead of time before Jason even puts an offer in on the house. And we talk about how much of the seller concession is needed to save you this much and get you this 2-1 buy down paid for by the seller. So I would go to Jason and say, okay, well, if you're paying, your client's paying $550,000 for this house and putting 5% down, let's ask the seller for at least 12 grand. 12 grand will cover the 2-1 buy down. If you get- Okay, that's not so bad. 12 grand, I was thinking you were gonna say like $20,000 and I was like, mm, I've got a buyer, but we're desperate to move this, move a house near Lackland Air Force Base and, uh, VA assumable loan. So if you're looking out there, it does have a 3.1 VA assumable loan. So shameless plug there. But <laughs> um, yeah, oftentimes when, especially in the today's market, there's not a ton of buyers out there. Um, $12,000 asking in seller concession isn't that big of a deal. We're not in the frenzy we were in the height of COVID when the whole world was moving to Texas and we had no supply sellers are getting a little desperate now so it definitely just looking at those numbers uh it would definitely behoove one of my favorite military words it would behoove people to look into that 2-1 buy down uh if it only cost twelve thousand dollars in seller concession and can save you what was that uh over seven thousand dollars in those each of those first two years and um I, I know you follow numbers and uh, follow what's going on. And I, I watch a lot of videos and stuff. Um, what, in your opinion, would cause rates to go down sometime in the next two years? Well, the election for one, I think, current, you know, history may not repeat itself, but it typically rhymes, right? And leading up to an election, usually interest rates go down if the current administration would like to be reelected. So already we're doing really good with inflation and the Fed or just met a couple of days ago and they did not increase the rate and they're meeting again in March and they could decrease. They could keep it the same, the federal funds rate, or they could decrease. Either way, this year we're expecting several federal fund rate drops. So we're anticipating rates will continue to go down this year by how much, nobody knows. But the economists that I follow are predicting most likely will be in the fives and maybe as low as five and a half in the mid fives. So we'll see uh, over the next couple of years, they are expected over the next three years at least to slowly go down. Most likely we're not gonna see any large decreases like jumping from you know six to 5% in a month. That's probably not gonna happen. It's probably gonna be a, they don't wanna put us into the same situation they did during COVID when they dropped rates to two to 3% and inflation went through the roof. They don't wanna repeat that mistake. Um, so it'll probably be a slow decrease down. The tough part about this situation for buyers, as you know very well, Jason, if buyers wait until rates go down, most likely there will be a buyer frenzy. You're going to be competing with other buyers and bid up those home prices and any savings you had by the interest rate will be negated by the price of the home. So 
buy now, use tools like this, refinance when rates go down. If you buy now, you're going to get more of a, a better deal on a house than if you buy when everyone else is buying. And that goes for new construction as well. Um, I, there's a lot of builders, they built some what's called a spec home or inventory home where the sales reps and them, they already designed all the inside. They picked out all the goodies and they built these homes. And now they're sitting there and builders are doing awesome incentives. Uh, most builders I'm seeing are contributing $30,000 to either lower the price or lower the rate. And as, as you just demonstrating, putting $30,000 to lower the interest rate would be a much better deal than, uh, thirty thousand dollars to lower the price but yeah the builders are desperate um sellers trying to sell their homes on secondary markets because there's just not a ton of buyers out there right now um it from a someone who represents mostly buyers it is nice to have negotiating room again versus the frenzy where it was like you get what you get don't throw a fit so just deal with it and uh so now we definitely have some negotiating room and having that interest rate buy down as part of a negotiation, it, it, it's a huge plus. And I wanted to bring you on just to help inform the public of that option, because like I mentioned, I want people to have all the information. And uh, I know you, you introduced us uh, to a new website during one of our sales meetings a few weeks ago which I've been using their website and their app. Uh, can you go and talk about that app that I'm talking about or the website? Yeah, so one of my favorites is, because you can get interest rates from anywhere online, and the hard part is knowing if it's legit. Because a lot of times, lenders are advertising rates and making it really hard for you to find where the points are. So they'll say, rates are 6%, and you go to the disclaimers, and it says, but it comes with two and a half points. The buyer doesn't know that. They don't know the difference, and it's confusing, and it's very expensive. So my favorite website I have found yet is mortgagenewsdaily.com. You just go to mortgagenewsdaily.com. You can download the app or you can go to the website. On the first page is the rates for all the loan types. And it shows you whether the rates have gone up or down, whether it's green means they're going down, red means they've been going up over the past day. I love this because I have priced it out with our software. And what I can see from these rates is they cost anywhere from zero to no more than one point, so on average, about a half a point. So when you look at these rates, you know this almost costs no points in most cases for these different loan types versus the rates that other banks will advertise online that usually come with two and a half points. And a point is a percent of your loan amount, so it can be a lot of money. If you have a $500,000 loan amount and you're paying two points, that's 10 grand, right? That's very expensive versus this. This is as close to what we call par interest rates as I have been able to find online. So if you look at that, you know, that's probably going to be the rate. If you have good credit and a decent profile, you'll probably qualify for rates in this range. Yeah, And I definitely love, if you want to sound like you really know what you're talking about, they have like this little summary of everything that's going on in the market. And I highly encourage anybody, especially in today's uh, interest rate society, to educate yourself. And I find this to be a really great tool. So you start learning why rates are what they were, what they're what the market is looking for, and what how it's reacting. And uh, yeah, having this neat little summary explaining why the rates are this and why what their expectations are. I, I, I really appreciate the value that you brought by just educating us on this website so I don't have to in the sales meeting. Hey, Jen, what's the rates today? Now I can just look it up myself because use your app. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, people don't realize rates change throughout the day. Uh, so I understand the awkward position I would put you in. What's the rate? And you're like, I don't know. I haven't looked at my phone in the last two hours. <laughs> yeah. So it does change a lot. Well, I hope uh, the people watching this video uh, saw value in what we're bringing to the table. And look up Legacy Mutual. Um, they are a phenomenal lender in this area. And hopefully you got to know, like, and trust Miss Jen Bailey. She's an amazing uh, lender and she's a numbers girl. So, and as you can tell, and I, the first time we had her sales meeting, that was the question I asked her is like, are you a numbers girl? Because that's not my strong suit. So I need someone on my team that is that numbers 
girl that can really bang it out and explain to my clients what the best course of action is. So I'm going to leave your contact information in the description box. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode one of Pro Tips from a Lender. Um, we're going to try to do this every Friday. Uh, the next subject is going to be house hacking. Um, we, we A lot of people have no idea how to kind of start investing and uh, real estate is a wonderful tool to invest in. And uh, Jen's got an amazing, uh, some amazing information on how to get into like uh, quadplexes. And uh, so, yeah, we're definitely looking forward to hearing what she has to say about that. Thank you so much, David. It was great being on. All right. My pleasure. All right. Take care. Uh, hit this, like this video, subscribe to my channel. And of course, share all these videos, with your friends and family. All right. Take care now. Bye. Appreciate it, Jen.